Welcome to the eighth video on Microsoft Surface and Windows 8. In this video I'm going to talk about the lock screen and basically the options you have for locking into your Surface device. Um, the, the easiest way of course to get the lock screen is to turn off the device for a while um, but there is a shortcut to um, and this is something good to do if you're leaving your device for a few moments. You can actually hit the Windows L key L standing for lock and it will take you to this lock page. Um, I can't remember what image shows up when you first get the device, but this is the image that shows up on my desktop one as well. It's a picture of Seattle with Mount Rainier in the background. At least I assume that's what it is. Um, in order to, lock, to log in, you're going to swipe up and by default it's asking for your, your password for your account. And so I'm going to type that in. Um, but the thing that you'll probably find, I definitely did, is that it's not really convenient, especially if you're using the screen touchpad to, to type in a nice secure password. It's quite a few characters, you're doing uppercase, lowercase numbers, all that kind of stuff. And it can be really easy to accidentally type in the wrong thing. Um, luckily Microsoft thought of all this and they provided a couple of really nice options that I want to show you, alternative options for signing in. Now to get those, you're going to um, swipe from the right hand side um, to bring up the, the menu for the, the start page and then hit settings. Um, then change PC settings right in the bottom corner and that's going to bring up all the, the main PC settings for your device. And so we're then going to go down to users and this is, this is the page that gives us the options that we have. So you can obviously change your password to something shorter um, but I don't recommend that because it's easy for someone else to guess and you're probably using this account um, for other things like SkyDrive, email, who knows what it might be. Um, I believe you can link any account to your Microsoft Surface device. Um, I'm currently using a Hotmail account. I'm going to try a Gmail one at some point here but I've, I've heard rumors that any account will work. You can also decide just to use a local account but we'll go into that more in a different video. Um, so back to sort of the sign-in options. There's your password. Um, they also have something called a picture password and then a pin. My favorite at the moment is the pin and so if you hit the create a pin um, option here it's going to ask you to retype your password. This is just to make sure that no one else has come onto the device um, while you were while you're away and then change the password on you so that you you can't get back onto the device. Um, but I, so I provide my password and that's asking for a four digit pin. So you're going to add enter four digits, enter them again just to make sure you've entered the same ones and then hit finish. Now if you go to login, so I'm going to hit the Windows L key again, takes me back to the lock screen and I'm going to swipe up and it's now asking me for that pin and I can type that short pin instead of the long password. Much, much easier even if you're just using the touch screen. It's, you'll find it's harder to get it wrong, easier to sign in, etc. Um, so that's one option. Another option though that they added for Windows 8 is a picture password and so this is something that you use on a, on a device that has a touch screen. So just like last time it's asking me for my password to make sure that I'm really the owner of this device. I'm going to hit OK and then it's going to walk through sort of a quick demonstration of, of what to do here but I'm going to walk through it and describe it as I go along so I'm just going to skip that and hit the choose picture button. So I'm not 100% sure if this is going to happen to you or if this is just because I've used the device as much as I have but it's defaulting to my SkyDrive and I do have a bunch of pictures up on SkyDrive so this is a great spot. Um, I'm actually going to scroll over to our trip to Germany and pick a picture from, from that trip. So there we go. Click on that folder and it's going to show all the pictures that are available. So what you want to do is you want to try to pick a picture that has some interesting stuff happening on it because you're going to make gestures over the picture and you want some locations that are going to be easy to remember. For me too, I'm always looking for a picture that looks nice because this is going to show up every time I go to log in. And so I'm going to pick this one here. You pick the picture, make sure it's selected and then hit open. This picture is a couple of gigs in size. So it's going to take just a second here to come down. And now it brought it up. And so the first thing it is, it's going to give you a chance to sort of mess with the location. Um, this looks good to me. So we'll, we'll keep this one. 
and I'll say use this picture, hit that button. And now what it's asking for is for you to make three gestures. And um, the three gestures that you can do are a dot, a line, and a circle. Now your, your picture password can be all dots, all lines, all circles, um, but the important thing is to remember which order, which ones you're using, and then what part of the picture you're making those gestures over, um, because that's, that's what it's going to pay attention to. And so what I'm going to use for my first gesture here is I'm going to just do a dot on that tower, and I'm going to do a circle on this tower, and I'm going to join a line between the two. So it's asking me to do it again just to make sure I can actually repeat those gestures. So dot, circle, line. Um, and it says now I've successfully finished it. So we hit the finish button. It's going to save that information. Now if I do Windows L to log out and swipe up to log back in, you'll see it brought up the picture. And so I can do dot, circle, line and it logged me in. So that's, again, much quicker. And my only concern, the reason I think I go with the pin over the picture is I'm worried someone's gonna be looking over my shoulder. Um, let me show you here. Actually, if you do go to the lock page and try to sign in, if that is happening to you, you're in a public place, you're worried someone's watching you, you can switch to the password. There's a little button over here to do that. Um, but obviously you want to have, have something that you can easily sign in on. And so it's much easier to remember, obviously, even than a four-digit code, because a picture is something you're going you're gonna to remember. Um, you want to try to pick some gestures that are a little hard to guess, but with those combinations, I think it's pretty secure. It's, it's sort of a nice nice feature to have. So, logging into the device again. Now, if you've played around with this and you decide you don't want to use the picture password, um, you go back to the PC settings screen, which we were on when we logged out, so it's, it comes back to that one. And you'll see here there's a remove button, and so you can just hit remove to get rid of that one. Now, when I go to log out, swipe up, um, it's by default going back to my um, full password, but I can sort of, let's say I enter that one wrong, when I come back, um, it's going to tell me it isn't. going to hit OK here. Um, not sure why I had to do this to get it to come up, but now it sort of says, hey, you have two options. They have a little pin pad here for the, the pin, or the key where you can enter the password. So I'm going to change back to the pin, enter that pin one, and now life is good again. Um, is able to easily sign into the device. So we're getting close to time here, but I want to show one last thing on the start screen. You'll notice that there's a little bit of information that shows up here. The time and the date also shows your wireless connection, battery, and then I happen to have a mail icon that shows that I have some unread email. This screen will also show you um, calendar and um, a number of other things that you can set up. So again, I'm going to log in. We're already on the settings page, but let me show you how to get to that again. So you swipe Go settings, change PC settings, and then it's on the personalized page. If you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see that there's a lock screen apps. And mine sort of shows to show instant messenger, mail, and calendar. And you can add additional ones if there's something else that you would like to have on your lock screen. Um, if you want to just sort of quickly turn on the device and see if you have any email, um, it's sort of a nice benefit. I didn't even have to log on. I could just sort of go and take a look at it and say, oh, okay, I have some mail. I better sign on and check to see what it is. So that ends this video. Um, stay tuned for, for more, lots of topics, and thank you for um, folks who have posted suggestions on, on the YouTube site. I'll try to get those into the queue and um, post them as soon as I have them ready. Bye for now.